Hey y'all, Born Again Jeeper here. I've got a new uke to show you guys and do a little review on. It is my first Lanakai brand ukulele, and this is the Lanakai 08E, 8 string acoustic electric model. Uh, we'll start at the top, so to speak. Uh, the soundboard here is a spruce soundboard. Uh, spruce is sort of like pine and gives a really, 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 really bright sound. To musical instruments as opposed to a warm sound. Uh, warm tends to mean mellower, um, bassier, and bright tends to be a little more sprightly, high-end uh, treble sounds come through a little better. So this is a spruce top and it is solid. Um, nearly, It's a yellow white color of course, really attractive wood with tight grain. Uh, there's a little rosette there around the sound hole, just a decal, I'm sure. And the back wood is where there's something unique going on. This is Ovan coal, and Ovan coal is a variety of mahogany um, from Africa. Now, the back and sides of this ukulele are laminate, so they are not a solid piece, but layers of piece. And they usually do that to make things a little less expensive. Sometimes it does affect the sound. Laminates don't transport sound waves quite as well as a solid top wood. Um, however, on this ukulele, though it would be better with all solid wood, it's still pretty, pretty neat sounding. You can see that grain, extremely contrasted grain from very dark bands and very light bands, almost like a zebra wood. The onboard electronics here, I um, couldn't tell you exactly what it is, but it says UK 2000. I know it's one that they have made specifically for Lanakai and it has a volume knob, a treble knob, and a bass knob so you can adjust your sound uh, if the sound guy doesn't know what he's doing. Also, it is an active pickup, which you don't see all that often on ukuleles, which means that it's got a battery pack and it will use a 9 volt battery. I prefer active pickups to passive pickups. Uh, passive pickups tend to feed back more and get more thumping through the pickup, whereas active pickups are a little bit more controlled. The only downside is then you have to worry about a battery going out when you're playing, and that can cause a lot of trouble. So throw an extra 9 volt in and you're fine. Uh, the fingerboard is rosewood, as you would expect, fairly common, as well as the bridge. The saddle itself is a synthetic um, bone, false bone, and so is the nut. And on the headstock here we've got uh, open geared tuners. They're a real nice gold brass kind of color with a faux abalone tuner knob on it. And it is a slotted headstock. And everyone seems to love slotted headstocks so much. I'm not all that excited about slotted headstocks. But on 8 string, it's fairly necessary. Uh, one thing that I really, really like about this uke, and it's kind of hard to see, but you have this dark color on top. Then laminated underneath it is a light color, maybe a maple or spruce. And then finally you've got the um, probably mahogany neck, I would assume, underneath it. So when you look at these, you're looking through the, all of the layers that it goes through. And there's three colors, and it's very, very attractive. What else to say? Um, the way that an eight string is set up is you've got three, or you've got four courses of two strings, which gives you eight. A course would be a pairing of strings and they're paired, uh, the, f the lowest two strings, your G and your C, are paired in an octave. So you've got two at once, one nyl nylon string and one wound string on the G string, and two nylon strings on the C string that are octave apart. And then your E and A strings are in unison, they're not an octave apart, but there are two of them just to aid in that full sound that you would expect from an 8-string ukulele. Uh, that's enough babbling. I'll go ahead and play this for you, but before I do, let me grab my mainland mahogany tenor. So this would be a similar uke, similar price range in fact, and my workhorse, honestly, one of my favorite ukes. Other, uh, same string set, they're both Aquila Nyla guts, and this is just your normal 4-string uke with re-entrant tuning. So 
we're all pretty familiar with that sound, right? Four strings, lots of fun. Wonderful. Here is the eight string. Now, ready to be blown away. Eight strings have a very different sound. So, as you would expect with an 8-string, much, much fuller sound than any 4-string uke. And I'm very, very happy with all of my 4-string mainlands especially, but an 8-string gives you a huge bonus having all of that. The volume is a lot bigger, and the sound a lot more grandiose, I suppose. Um, there is a downside, however, to having 8-strings, in that you don't get quite the pure sound out of a bend that you would in a four string ukulele. So if I were to play that bend, it goes out of tune because you're bending the doubled strings at different angles each. So it doesn't work quite as well if you're going to play a blues or kind of a rock bend into your music. So this uke is more designed to do chorded playing such as um, playing along with somebody singing, yourself singing, or backing up someone playing a four string uke. Um, but you're essentially doing the work of two people when you're playing this uke. So, whole lot of fun to play. The only downsides that I've found from this uke is that, one, the action came just a little higher than I prefer. And it's not been set up professionally, so I can't gripe because they tend to set them up a little on the high side at factories. Anyhow, uh, it's I would call this a medium-high action, not a huge issue. I just tend to prefer mine a little bit on the lower side. And $20 at a guitar shop, or if you're brave enough to do it yourself, pretty easy fix. Uh, the other thing that I don't like about it, which is a little bit more of a big deal, but not a huge problem, is the tuners. I'm not real wild about them. They're open-geared tuners. Um, and they seem to be a little imperfect. When you turn them, there'll be a tight spot and a loose spot. So, as a result, a little cheap feeling. They still work and they still keep themselves in tune extremely well. But when you're turning them, a little bit unpleasant feeling. So that is the Lanakai 08E. Like I said, uh, they go for about $300. They make a lesser model that goes for a little over $200. And well worth picking it up. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a great evening, morning, or afternoon, and keep on yuking.